Alright, so this is like my third take on this particular video. I recorded this whole thing uh, previously in a totally different room in the house where I thought there was better lighting and got through the whole thing, recorded it, uploaded it, and it turned out that it wasn't, the camera wasn't even focused the entire time, so yeah, so this is take three. Um, hopefully this one's a little bit better. Um, so basically the video that I'd done before is a reflection video on 2012. So I thought, you know, I would just kind of look back on 2012 and, you know, kind of see what it was like. Um, you know, just kind of taking a step back from the whole thing and looking at it as a whole. Um, you know, right now it's, it's 12, 12, 12, so December 12th, um, you know, 2012. Um, you know, a few more weeks left in the year, and I thought this would be a good time to actually do that. So, you know, all in all, 2012 was a pretty decent year. Um, you know, nothing went horribly wrong, and nothing went amazingly right. You know, um, it was just sort of a, you know, I wouldn't say really like a blah year, but, you know, just sort of a basic year. Um, you know, a lot of things carried over from 2012 or, I'm sorry, 2011, so, you know, things like me getting into, you know, Buddhism, spirituality, stuff like that, you know, really wanting to learn more about that, um, and, you know, try to put that into practice really carried over, so I think that, you know, that did help, you know, as far as, you know, making me a little bit more positive, and, you know, you know, my whole outlook on everything, I think, was a lot better because of that, um, though I still have a long way to go, you know, before really, you know, being a full practicing, you know, really, you know, actual Buddhist, you know, right now I'm, I'm just, I'm learning and, um, you know, trying to get information and really, you know, trying to put that into practice, which is not easy. Um, you know, so that really carried over. Um, my photography obviously, you know, carried over as well. I think this year I definitely took it a lot more seriously. I think I did some really good stuff. Um, but again, you know, long ways to go, a lot more to learn, um, you know, I mean, I watch videos at least weekly, and, uh, you know, on how to try to, you know, get better and things like that, you know, but the, really the main thing that I've learned is that, you know, it's not enough just to have an idea, you have to really get out there and travel, which isn't always easy to do, you know, for me it's, you know, I don't work a terribly hard job, like a lot of other people, but, um, you know, it can be physically taxing, emotionally taxing, um, you know, and sometimes I'm just drained on my days off and I don't want to do anything but just relax, you know, watch a movie, catch up on some TV shows, um, you know, make my favorite food, tea, you know, and things like that, you know, maybe read a little bit, um, you know, catch up on some podcasts or some music or something like that, you know, I don't always want to just jump in my car and drive for long periods of time, you know, hoping that I will come across some, you know, really scenic thing that I can take a picture of. Um, you know, I need to do more of that, for sure. That's something I know, but, you know, not always practical on, on a day off when I just want to relax. Um, you know, other than that, it's, uh, you know, work's been good. Um, you know, by far not my dream job, but, you know, I realized this year that you know, looking back on it, this was the year of just me sort of, you know, getting in a positive mind space and, you know, really, you know, kind of taking it easy, trying to relax, you know, but next year is really the year that I need to buckle down and work really hard to, you know, achieve all of my goals, you know. Well, I should rewind that, actually. I need to set goals, you know, really concrete goals and work really hard to make those happen, you know sooner the better, you know, I put a lot of hard work and a lot of effort into, you know, other aspects of my life, and if I had done that with things like, you know, the perfect job and, you know, really figuring out what exactly I want to do, I'd already be doing it, and I would have been doing it for a really long time and probably just be a lot, you know, happier in general, um, you know, so I think that 2013, I really need to buckle down and do that. Um, you know, but other than that, I spent the entire 2012 um, completely single, which, you know, sort of bittersweet, you know, um, 
you know, gave me a lot of time to really reflect on myself, really think about, you know, why this, why that, you know, and kind of change the questions around and, you know, get some different answers and, you know, work on myself and, you know, try to become, you know, um, a better person so that, you know, when something good does come along, I'm not going to, you know, blow it by, you know, being the kind of person who's like, life is completely in shambles and, you know, just not being generally happy and things like that, you know, because there's nothing more unattractive to another person, you know, than somebody who's just uh, got a ton of things to complain about. Um, you know, it's a huge turn off, you know. So, you know, I think, uh, you know, at this point I'm a little more ready for for a relationship, you know. I think a lot of people really think they're ready a lot. And I don't really think that's the case. I think what it comes down to is just, you know, the human need for companionship and, you know, just general loneliness. And, you know, you long for that and, you know, you think that, oh, I'm totally ready, you know. But when it really comes down to it, you know, relationships take some work and people aren't willing to put in the work because it should be easy, right? You know? Um, yeah, a lot of ways it should. Love should be easy. And love should be effortless. You know, if it's, you know, true, deep love, then, you know, you shouldn't really have to work at it or for it, you know. Um, but most people aren't fortunate enough to have something like that just drop in their lap, you know. So, you know, you got to work at it. So, you know, all in all, 2012, uh, you know, good year. Uh, I think that I probably could have been a better friend a lot of the time. Um, you know, I really need to get better at, you know, really communicating and contacting my friends a lot more, you know, I mean, my best friends I maybe see once, twice a year, and they don't live that far from me, so there's really no excuses for that, so, you know, there's a lot of things to work on, but anyway, just as a, as a reflection, I think that 2012 was, was pretty decent. Looking forward to 2013 and seeing what that brings, and, you know, fingers crossed, hopefully it brings a lot of good things, so, anyway, that's it.